Hey y'all, I am back on my bullshit. And we are going to go over updates in the house of 115 um, corpses case, except now that is not the case. It is now house of 189 corpses, which is absolutely horrific. So I don't know why they used this shot. This is a very old photo. Um, in this video that I did, this is the exact same building, but as you can see the sign, there is no sign there. It's empty. So really old photo. But let's get to the article. Officials in Fremont County have increased the number of improperly stored remains discovered at a funeral home in Penrose to at least 189 individuals. Initial reports put the number at 115. The remains were found by authorities responding to a report of foul odor at the Return to Nature funeral home inside of a decrepit building, and I don't think it was decrepit. I don't think that's a fair description either. So that's their other office, but we're going to go look at the building in Penrose. Give me a sec here. That's the crime scene in Penrose. It's when the FBI showed up. But yeah, that's the building right there. And it's not decrepit. In fact, that, that roofing looks pretty new. While the investigation for this incident continues, we also remain focused on the impacted families, said Fremont County Sheriff Alan Cooper. We want to do all we can to provide the families the support they need as we shift to the next phase in this process. All of the remains were relocated to the El Paso County Coroner's Office last week, where work to identify them has been underway with the help of an FBI team that gets deployed to mass casualty events like airline crashes. Victim advocates will begin notifying families of the deceased in the next several days. Officials say there is no timeline for completing that process. We are conducting extensive coordination efforts as we, efforts as we focus on the identification of the decedents and provide notifications to ensure the families are given accurate information to prevent further victimization as they continue to grieve their loved ones, said Fremont County Coroner Randy Keller. Cooper describes the scene as horrific. The discovery came after the owner of the Return to Nature funeral home, John Halford. His name is John Halford. Um, missed tax payments in recent months, got evicted from one of their properties and sued for unpaid bills by a crematory that quit doing business with them almost a year ago. The business advertised green burials performed without embalming chemicals or metal caskets. Earlier this month, when local residents reported a foul smell in the area, that's a weird sentence. Earlier this month, when local residents reported a foul smell in the area. End sentence, all right. A day after the foul odor was reported, the director of the state office of funeral home and crematory registration spoke on the phone with owner John Halford. He acknowledged having a problem at the Penrose site and claimed he practiced taxidermy there. So the problem I'm having with this is like, I think that this statement was from October 5th, 2022, because Dora, the Department of Regulatory Agencies, didn't start investigating him until November of last year and didn't conclude their investigation until like September of this year. So, and when they um, came out with their statement in September, 
they mentioned the taxidermy stuff. So it doesn't make sense that this would be a new statement if it was already mentioned in September. So I'm pretty sure that the taxidermy statement is from last year, which again, just is really frustrating how slowly this case moved and how slowly action was taken, you know, snail's pace. A criminal investigation into the situation is ongoing. The business which advertised cremations and green burials performed without embalming chemicals or metal caskets kept doing business as its problems mounted under Colorado law, green burials are legal, but state requires that any body not buried within 24 hours must be properly refrigerated. Colorado has some of the weakest rules for funeral homes in the nation with no routine inspection or qualification requirements for funeral home operators. As of last week, more than 120 families worried their relatives could be among the remains had contacted law enforcement about the case. El Paso County Coroner Leon Kelly has said it could take weeks to identify the remains found. There's no indication state regulators visited the site or contacted Halford until more than 10 months after the Penrose Funeral Homes registration expired. State lawmakers gave regulators the authority to inspect funeral homes without the owner's consent last year, but no additional money was provided for increased inspections. Impacted families are asked to complete the questionnaire to assist in that process. And we're gonna go ahead and look at this. No, that's not it. There we go. All right, so this is the form that the FBI wants families of the victims to fill out. Um, it says, seeking victim information, a return to nature funeral home. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office, CBI, and the FBI is currently conducting an investigation into return to nature funeral home. Given the public response to the investigation, we have developed this questionnaire to assist with the investigative process. An investigator may follow up with you if they have additional questions. If you have any questions regarding this questionnaire or resources for victims, please email. And then they provide a contact email. So they want um, the family members to give um, their first name, last name, date of birth, best contact number, email address, address with the county, Relationship to the deceased, are you spouse or partner of the deceased, child of the deceased, sibling of the deceased, parent of the deceased, power of attorney of the deceased, best time to call, morning, afternoon, or evening, the deceased, identifying information, first name, middle name, last name, date of birth, date of death. Questions. One, what company did you use for the decedent's final arrangement? Two, who did you primarily work with at the company? Provide name and contact information, address, work phone, cell phone, email, etc. Three, what was the final disposition of the decedent? Burial, cremation, donation, other. 3A, if other, please specify. Yeah, if other, please specify. Because, you know, he's saying he's doing taxidermy, but if he's saying he's doing it legally or like with these people's consent, I don't know. Maybe he wouldn't get in trouble with it, but I just, I, I, I find it very, um, I don't 
I guess it's not impossible, and I'm trying not to shame anyone who would do this, but I think it's weird to taxidermy your loved one and keep them around. I think that's weird. So it sounds like they are trying to see if anyone actually hired him for taxidermy with that question. And I mean, it would be interesting. I'd be interested to know if anyone actually replies and says, yeah, we, we hired him to taxidermy grandma. I really would. How much did you pay the company in total? It's question number four. How did you pay cash, personal check, funeral insurance, credit card, or other? 5A, if other, please specify. I wonder, I wonder if he was like, if you can't afford a funeral, I'll taxidermy your loved one for free. Oh, just like the possibilities here are horrific. And the thing is, with how creepy the case already is, with a house with 189 bodies on it, it's property, like, um, it, it's hard to imagine, you know, things worse than that. But it's like every detail and possibility of this case is just like equally as bad. It's just like, where's that theme song from the American Horror Story? You know, the wah womp wah 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 Like the, the horror, like the, the horror weighing down on you is what I'm getting at. There's no levity to this case. You know, everything is super heavy. Um, question six, what documents do you have from the company? Seven, if cremated, do you still have the cremains? Is that what they're called? Cremains? Or is that a typo? It says cremains right there. See? Cremains. Is that a thing? Yeah. Okay. It is a thing. All right. Number eight, please include any other information that you think is important to the investigation. Um, questions nine to 18 pertain to the decedent. Nine, name of primary doctor. 10, name of primary dentist. 11, describe scars or tattoos. 12, was hospice care used? Where? 13, any medical devices. 14, which return to nature location was used? Fifteen, if your loved one was cremated, what company is listed on the death certificate as performing the cremation? Sixteen, please describe what your loved one was last wearing. 17, were they wearing any jewelry to be buried or cremated with them? 18, did you provide return to nature with any other objects to be buried cremated with them? Please describe. Huh. These are interesting questions. Are they trying to say that like the funeral home operator was colluding with certain doctors and dentists and hospice providers? And if so, how would that even really work? That's, that's interesting. And then wanting to know what they were last wearing. Is he saying they like changed their clothes? Huh? I don't know, guys. 
like let me know what you think about these questions in the comments down below these are kind of weird to me anyway um yeah that's all i got on what is going on right now i think should i let me check and make sure <laughs> Why do I not have sound? All right. I guess I can share screen, but I can't have sound. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. Of course, this is footage using back to normal. Maybe a look, there we go. Crazy to think it's been almost two weeks. No one thought it would take this long. But yeah, um, I will let you guys know what's going on with this case. And please like, sub, and share if you haven't already. Again, let me know what you think about the questions on the FBI questionnaire, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Set in.